Hello everyone, it's Thanners, and I have decided to come back and do another reaction video. Having finished up the Ruby reaction, or finished uploading the Ruby reactions, I decided I wanted to try to maintain some momentum, at least keep in the habit of just doing videos, uploading and working with the editing software and all that sort of thing. So I am going to be reacting to the anime Kaguya-sama Love is War. It's a something different. It is a school romance comedy, and I find it extremely funny. They have taken the trope of two people who have feelings for each other, but sort of refuse to admit it, in this case because they feel like admitting it would put them in a weaker position. So they are continuously scheming and conniving, trying to come up with ways to get the other to confess their love for them, while not revealing it themselves. It is over the top, it is kind of hilarious, it's ridiculous, and I like it a lot. It also has what I feel like are in the best comedies, moments where you really get to like the characters, and um, also some of those sort of softer moments where despite how ridiculous it is, um, you have the moments where you just sort of go, uh, you know, ah. Uh. So I like it. I like it about the show. I haven't reacted to anime before. I haven't reacted to anything apart from Ruby before. So this is different because I'm going to have to figure out how to how to appropriately do this to avoid, you know, infringing sort of copyright and stuff like that. I think I'm going to try a timer-based reaction, which means I'm going to record the entire video, and then I will end up severely obscuring it, unfortunately, for you viewers. But you can hopefully get your own copy of the video and sync it up and watch along with me if you like. I will be watching it on Anime Lab, and as far as I know that doesn't have any sort of splash screens or anything, it just, as soon as you push play, it goes straight into the intro. So I will be starting on, I should have mentioned this at the start, Unfortunately, I have already watched a large portion of this. I've watched the first eight episodes. Actually, I was about to do a reaction to episode eight, and then partway through I found that my microphone was muted, so that's not very good. So I'm going to have to start this on episode nine, which is Kaguya wants to give a gift, Chika Fuji Fujiwara wants to pay a visit, and about Kaguya Shinomiya part one. So that's an interesting thing about this show, is that each episode is actually made up of three shorter skits. And I've lost my train of thought already. So yeah, it's a bit of a pity that I can't that I can't react from episode one. I'm not going to go and react to something I've already watched, it just doesn't really... It seems a bit disingenuous to try to react to episodes that I've already seen. I'm just going to start from episode nine, which is where I'm up to. And apparently there is a season two either in the works or coming soon, something like that. So hopefully this won't be the only episodes for the show that I get to react to. Okay, so excuse me because this is the first time I've had to do this sort of setup. I don't know whether there's a better way to do the timer or not. I would really like to be able to capture the timer from the video. That way it would be more resistant to the video skipping due to buffering or something. But in any case, here we go, episode 9. But let's think, just quickly. Episode 8, I just watched it. We got to meet Shirogane's little sister. So there's a new character who will presumably be showing up um, a bit more often. I hadn't been sure whether we'd get to see her at all, to be honest. But no, it looks like she's actually going to be another supporting character in the story. We saw them studying for their exams. And that also let us see another a softened scary side of Shinomiya, which to be honest is <laughs> typical, like pretty typical of her, as she helped slash forced um, Ishigami to study to avoid failing. So that was good. That was, you know, that was another sort of one of those moments where there was humor in it, but also, you know, kind of these sort of nice-ish moments while you get to laugh at Ishigami being absolutely terrified of Shinomiya because she's pretty full on. Anyway, 
If you've got your copy ready to watch with me, I will be starting episode 9 in 3, 2, 1. Let's make sure that I am... I have audio. I have microphone audio. I'm capturing the video. And my timer is going. Alright. Fingers crossed. See, the opening shows like quite a few supporting characters in that part where you've got Chica standing in the middle and the others fan out behind her. I don't know whether we've met all of them yet. But I do like that it just sort of keeps just introducing, you know, one or two characters every now and then just to... Sorry, I just realized... I just realized the cards and I wonder whether that says anything. I didn't see who was on each card though. Anyway, I really like this opening. The music is great, obviously. It's just such a stylish opening. And pretty representative of the show. Which could get away with... The God of Thunder will steal my belly button. Excuse me, is that a thing? <laughs> Chica is so cute. And strange. <laughs> oh my gosh You're going to miss your chance. <laughs> In some ways, she is such a terrible person. <laughs> Element of chaos. Yep, that is definitely what Chica is. You disqualify one as a member of society? That's what I'm talking about, how completely absurd it is.
Ah, oh, but he values work very high. <laughs> anti shirogane tools That's amazing. As I was saying, like the animation, they could get away with completely still frames most of the time. And then sometimes they'll just bust out just incredible animation. What? This is too much. I'd still think that you'd be in a p power position if you offer a lift. It's called instant karma. Ah, uh, well, she isn't a complete monster. Is Hayasaka in the same the same year? how much of a baby she becomes. If they already did rock, paper, scissors, why didn't they just use that to decide?
<laughs> Pet my head. No, oh, no. The music sounds so epic. Chica might be the best character. <laughs> She's using Ishigami's line. She is not a good sick person. Chika might be the best character, but Ishigami being introduced was also a magnificent play. Color contact and chest stuffed a bit. Come on, you went to go see her.
What is happening? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hayasaka is a very funny character as well. Use them. Steal. There is no... <laughs> wow. Flee! Run away! Ha 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 ha!
Oh, no. Anyway, so that was fun. I like that because of the way, because of the structure of the episodes, it makes it more difficult for me to remember because there's usually three separate things that well, this one it sort of continued from one into the next, but it does seem to make it more difficult for me to remember what happens because the episodes feel so dense somehow. That was nice. They went from the... There were three things, right? I'm so lost. Okay, first one was the... Okay, first one was the raining, and then she got soaked, which made her sick for the next one, where they played the game to see who would go to visit her. And then the third one was him actually going to visit. Right. Took a while for me to get it through in my head. Well, that was nice. She, uh, a very different person when she's sick. Me, I don't know what I turn into. I think I turn... <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm usually just a lazy person when I'm sick. It depends depends on how active I'm forced to be. If I'm forced to be doing stuff, then I can become a not a very nice person. My tolerance just becomes very low, so I become very snippy. But I'll do stuff. I am the type of sick person who is perfectly happy to eat still. Eat and sleep. And hopefully get better. Anyway. I'm going to need to figure out how to edit the video. Hey, so if you're watching this, if you like this show, please, you know, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about it. Uh, preferably spoiler free, please. Um, otherwise, I don't think there's much else for me to discuss about the videos. It's different because there's no sort of, there's not like a really strong overarching story. You can tell there is definite progression. It's not like they're just completely independent segments of story that you could watch independently because you can tell, you know, there's continue continuity just in the fact that, you know, the characters get introduced and start playing a part. And um, you can notice that the characters have even changed a bit since the very first episode when we've met them. But um, yeah, anyway, I'll, I guess I'll, just have to play by ear how I do these reactions, whether there's much for me to do to say pre or post episodes or how I'm going to get the timer to work and all that sort of stuff. But until next time, I will see you later.